we call soil to the thin layer that sustains life in Earth. Most of our food resources depend on how we use it and how much we care about it. From the big wheat plains to the rice terraces to the horticulture production and all the vegetables that we all eat. If we know how to use it, we can have big benefits from it. In order to grow plants, we need two basic elements, soil and water. However, if we don't know how to protect the soil from the water impact, then we start to have some problems. These problems can go from a simple gully to something much, much, much worse. So how do we measure how a particular soil behaves in contact with water? We have some ways. The most common one is to measure its aggregate stability. In other words, how a soil aggregate will maintain its structure in presence of water. Here at the Sydney Institute of Agriculture, we take this thing very seriously, constantly trying to understand how the soil behaves using different technologies to measure its multiple characteristics, so we can use this invaluable resource in a sustainable way. So how do we measure soil aggregate stability in a soil lab? We need three things. Basically, this instrument over here, which is a set of pulleys and strings that will hold a sieve. And on top of the sieve, we have soil. The principle behind a structural stability test is very simple. Basically, if a soil aggregate is structurally resistant, this will resist the contact with water by keeping its shape and structural properties. Meanwhile, a soil aggregate that is unstable rather to its chemical or physical properties, it won't resist the contact with water in the same way, so it will break, and as a consequence, it will lose its shape and all the structural properties that it had before. So what's the issue with this kind of method? Not many farmers have one of these at home, but what most of them have Considering the importance of this property of soils, last year we developed a new method that uses some of the basic concepts of soil aggregate stability. Let's suppose that we have a set of soil aggregates and we could measure how they break when submerging water. If we measure their projected area over time, we could have an idea of how stable are they. We modeled this behavior and we concluded that one of the feed coefficients, in this case our coefficient A in this formula, will represent the maximum area of a soil aggregate after a certain amount of time in direct contact with water. We found out that this coefficient has a clear relation with known soil properties that are always related with fertility and soil functionality, a soil carbon. Expectedly, we also found that this coefficient was high in those soils that are on the crop compared with those in natural conditions. This index was also useful in demonstrating the structural role that plant roots have on stabilizing soil. So we put all these concepts together and we developed a fauna that is capable to measure the soil aggregate stability in time using the camera of the phone. So in order to measure soil aggregate stability now you just need, instead of a fancy lab, just a phone, some water, some soil, a petri dish that you can find in many places and a white background and something to put the phone on so I'm just going to use a glass and that's it, pretty simple. The interface of the app is a very simple one. We only need to tell the program how many soil aggregates will be involved in the test. In this case we're going to enter one. We can also name the project or we just can skip this part. Once the soil aggregate is placed in an empty petri dish, we can start the experiment. In order to know how much the soil aggregate area will increase in time, we need an initial picture. This is the size of the soil aggregate before breaking. After this is done, we can fill the same petri dish with water and immerse the soil aggregate into the water immediately followed by pressing the start button. The time needed for a full experiment will be 10 minutes. The camera of the phone will be recording the size of the soil aggregate every single second until the 10 minutes are complete. 
it will also fit the formula that we presented before, and finally, it will return as a result the fit coefficient a, that will represent the maximum area that our soil aggregate will have after being in direct contact with water. This is basically how unstable our soil is, with a value of zero equivalent with a very resistant aggregate, and higher numbers equivalent with less structural stability. In this case, the index is 5.5, indicating an average stability. And as simple as that. So now with just a phone, we have a reliable measure of aggregate stability. There.